What are we do? Fate Theo with a full Sizzly Peed Evolution team. Chegasaurus, this one is for you. So we've got Sizzly Peed, Center Scorch, and G Max Center Scorch. So we've got a team of three Pokemon today. Now, this one is for Patreon. If you like your own custom theme team or Pokemon tweet, you can check it out at patreon.com slash pimpnight. The link is in the description of the video, tier two and above. I've got two battles today with the Sizzler Beat Evolution team, and I really hope you enjoy. Now, I'm trying to get all the G-Max Evolution teams done before the new game comes out. So there's quite a few to cover still, so I'll probably be putting them out about once a week. I believe I can get them all done. Okay, the first spell here, this one is on my Twitch stream. This is against Chris, and we've got a Berserker lead. So I've got Center Scorch here as my lead too. It's a special set with Bug Buzz, Fire Blast, Skull, and Solar Beam. Actually get some really cool uh, special moves there. So we've got Max Speed and Max Special Attack, and I've got Throat Spray as the item. I've got the ability as... I, know, I think it's Flash Fire on this one. Yes, Flash Fire as the ability, and we've got uh, Tim and Nature as uh, the nature. So go for the Fire Blast on the Berserker. It doesn't take it out in one hit somehow. I thought it would, but it didn't. So we're going to fake out, then we're going to follow it up by an Iron Head here on my center squad. Obviously, the Berserker doesn't have a lot to hit me with here. Now, I thought, since it's on such a low amount of health, why not go for a Bug Buzz, not only to take it out, plus to activate my Throat Spray and get that free and easy special attack boost right there. Okay, so Berserker's down, so that's a good start to the battle. And I've got five other Pokemon to deal with. This team is really tough. Like, normally, I've been doing, like, uh, three of the shinies and three of the normal ones. But sometimes, I try out doing the three Pokemon. It's pretty difficult. But I've got, so, you know, probably one really good set on this team. So, the next Pokemon is the Glaceon coming out here. I've got a good type. Actually, looking at this team, I've got a good type advantage against the first two Pokemon. So, Glaceon's going to go for Weather Ball with no weather. It's only 50 base power. And it wasn't enough to take me out, even with a crit. So go for a Fire Blast here on the Glacier. I've got plus one and special attack, and it is going to get dropped. So that was beautiful there. Um, I was actually kind of surprised I lived a crit from the Weather Ball. Maybe it was a bit more of a bulky Glacier. Next Pokemon to come in is Hit my Top. I thought, well, I think they're going to go for a Fake Out, right? Why not swap in my Sizzly Pete that has Flame Body as the ability, and maybe I'll get a burn. It's a bulky set anyway, so I feel confident I can uh, best it, hopefully. So I'm going to get clapped there. The Flame Body kicks in like I hope, and now Hitmontop is going to be burned, and its attack is half. So this is very, very good. This is the start of my Sizzly Pete strategy, by the way. So we've got a Fire Spin, Smoke Screen, Scorching Sands Rest set here. So what you want to do, right, is you want to burn the opponent, usually with Scorching Sands, or maybe Flame Body, right, and then you can set the Fire Spin up. Fire Spin will then trap them in, so you get the damage of the uh, burn, and you'll get the damage of the Fire Spin at the same time. So look how much damage Triple Kick does with the, uh, you know, obviously with the burn there and being not very effective. It can't touch me at all, so it's got Fake Out and Triple Kick, and I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking they're probably running a Technician set, right? Wait, did it? I don't think it had Intimidate. I believe it was a Technician set, so that's not going to do anything to me at all. The other moves they get is like Bullet Punch, and maybe it's got another Fine Egg type move, but Hit on Top really can't do a lot of damage. You'll need something like Stone Edge, right? So Scissor Defeat is going to be able to tank this easy. Go for a Smoke Screen. This is a really, really scummy set there. So the idea is to get that Burn and the Fire Spin uh, racking up on the opponent. Then you just spam Smoke Screen and Fire Spin and take the opponent out. Uh, the EVs in this uh, Scissor Defeat are as follows. Max Health and Max Special Defense. And we've got Everlight and Sassy Nature as the uh, nature there. So the Triple Kick is going to miss. We're going to go for another Fire Spin here because it's going to do a little bit of damage. Not too much. You know, hit my top Special Defense is pretty good there but i want to make sure that the fire spin doesn't run out so hitmontop won't be able to swap not that hitmontop can really do too much at the moment there now i was contemplating putting sleep talk instead of smoke screen but i thought smoke screen would buy me a little bit more time to get the burn with scorching sands up i was very lucky in this matchup that i swapped in and got the flame body because sometimes when you're going for scorching sands right you may not get a burn for like two or three turns sometimes even more i've been very unlucky it's sort of like, you know, trying to get a burn on Scold. It doesn't always happen. So finally, the hit on top is going to be going down there, and Sizzly P takes its first victory. 
Next Pokemon to come in here is Appleton. Now, I would love to get at least a burn on this before I, uh, you know, faint, obviously. I could go for a rest. I was kind of wondering what this would do. Maybe it would go for, like, a dragon-type move. So, go for Scorching Sands here. If I can get a burn, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got another Pokemon to swap in here, right? So, the Scorching Sands is going to do nothing. And now it goes for Leech Seed. So, if it went for Leech Seed there, there'd be two reasons why it went for that. One, it can't take me out. It's only got a Grass-type move. Or two, it expected to swap into one of my Center Scorch, right? So... I'm thinking it can't take me out this stage, or if it can, I want to see what it can do, right? So I went for Scorching Sands once again to try and get a burn. I'm not going to do any damage, right? But I'd just like to get a burn, then maybe swap out my Scissor Speed and go into my Center Scorch. I might be able to, you know, maybe get some special defense drop with my other one, or send in my, probably my more competitive set and see if I can take this out, right? So Apple Tide's going to go for a Giga Train. That is highly resisted by all of the Pokemon on my team. Looking at this team, right? Berserker, Glacier, and Appleton really aren't, like, they're, qu they're quite counter by this Pokemon, right? Unless it had, like, a Dragon-type move. So, Sissy Pete is going to live on two health there, and I thought for a second, why don't I just go for Rest? Heal it up with Rest, right, then swap it out, and maybe I'll be able to use it against a Dynamax Pokemon. Like, I could swap it in and maybe stall two turns out of the Dynamax, and it'd be a good Meat Shield, right? I've got a question of the day here, people. I've got a question of the day. Now, when you look at Sizzly Pete and Center Scorch, how many legs does Center Scorch and Sizzly Pete have all together? Put a comment below in the comment section. I want to see if anyone can actually guess the answer. Now, I have got the answer myself. I've looked through, and I know the answer right now. So I'm very interested if someone can get it. So leave it below in the comment section if someone wants to see if they can count the legs. Now, we'll just do it for Sizzly Pete and Center Scorch. I know I've got a three Pokemon on my team, but let's just do it for the whole evolution line. This has got a lot of legs. Like, look at them. you got to count. It's like one, two on the head there. you got to count those little two on the head, then the two on the back of the tail too. So make sure you count those ones. So we're going to double swap here, interesting enough, and Executor is going to come in. This is the uh, Center Scorch I had earlier, I believe, my special set. Now, I d actually, sorry, this is the competitive set. We've got a Coil, Rest, Fire Lash, and Leech Life set. This set works really, really well. Now, the item on this one I've got as Moranga Berry, so if I get hit by a special move, it's going to boost my special defense by one stage and make me very bulky on that side. With Coil, you boost your attack and your defense, and it gets very, very bulky. Now, the ability on this one is uh, White Smoke, so I tried to run all three different abilities on all three of them, so I worked out pretty well, like Flash Fire, uh, Flame Body, and White Smoke, right? So the uh, Executor is going to go for Explosion there. Almost takes him out in one shot. That was crazy. Next Pokemon we got is the Slowbro here, and this is also the last Pokemon. This is actually a pretty hard decision here. I've got Leech Life, I've got Fire Blast, and I, sorry, Fire Lash, and I've got uh, Rest and Coal. Now, this could most definitely have Psychic. What do I do? I've got to either go for G-Max here, get some damage on it, or send my special one back in. Sizzly Pete's asleep. This is real. This is a really, really tough decision. In the end, I was like, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap that out, and I might be able to get a rest off on there later. I'm thinking of that apple ton, right? How am I going to take that out? So we got the slow bro go for a surf here. I thought this is the people would be a good swap in here to take whatever move. It's going to be psychic or whatever like that. And surf's going to be super effective too. So obviously, I'm going to be sleeping here. There's no way I'm going to wake up. I just randomly selected any move. And I'm going to be sleeping. And Slowbro definitely has to have a Psychic Time move. So it's going to go for Shell. So any move would have taken me out here. Let's be real. So bye-bye, Scissors Pete. But it was worth going for that rest earlier on. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had a Pokemon to swap in right. Now, this is the time I've got to go for the G-Max. Now, I will say this. Both of my Center Scorchers were able to G-Max. Because essentially, they were the same Pokemon. So I thought, I'd leave the option open here. So I decided to go for the G-Max on my special one here. And I could get that uh, G-Max Center Furnace. Pretty much G-Max Center Furnace is like a uh, fire spin. So it does uh, damage at the end of the turn. A really, really cool G-Max move there. I remember... Um, I'm casting my mind back when I was uh, playing Sword and Shield for the first time. I remember actually getting this G-Max for the first time. I thought it was, uh, it was very, really cool, right? So going for uh, G-Max move here. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to one-shot a slow bro, but I want to get as much damage as possible on here. And since I'm running a special set, well, it's not going to do heaps and heaps of damage, right? But I want that to you know, I want that to do some damage, right? Maybe why I try and set up my cost. Now, that does a lot of damage there, probably a little bit more than I thought, and Slowbro is going to take me out with the side shell arm. So, bye-bye, uh, Center Scorch G-Max there. So, all I've got now is my other Center Scorch 
and I've also got Fire Lash on this one too. Now, I don't have any attack EVs at all, but I do have that G-Max move going on there, and Slowbro is in a low, surprisingly low amount of health there. So I've got 8 health on it. When you look at it, I could have lost this battle like ages ago, because all of my Pokemon had like no health. I had like Sizzly P with 2 health. That had 3 and that had 8. That's crazy. So now I can go for a Fire Lash here and hopefully take it out. I can't go for a rest because we've already seen Surf, which is super effective. I know that it's got a Psychic type move and it hasn't used it yet because it hasn't really needed to. It's going to one-shot all the other Pokemon. So let's go for Fire Lash and hope I can take it out there. Slowbro is going to be going down. So that's very, very good right there. The last Pokemon they have is the Appleton from earlier on, and that was the Leech Seed run. Now, remember, they haven't uh, Dynamax or G-Max either. I'm going to go ahead and assume they'll probably just... Well, they don't really need to G-Max this turn, but I haven't revealed that I've got Rest yet. I need to go for Rest here. I know Leech Type is super effective, but I need to get my health back, right? So first thing, sir, let's get that back, and let's get all the health back, and then I can start going for Leech Type. I think... I think this actually could be Chester Bro. Now I come to think of it, it is Chester Bro. Sorry, I had uh, Chester Bro and Moranga Bro, so I sort of swapped between those items with this team, right? So Appleton's gonna try and finish me off with the disrespect leech seed. That is not gonna be the case. I managed to get the rest off there, so that's very, very bad for Appleton. Now, I wonder what other moves it can do. It's got Giga Drain and Leech Seed. That's all it's got. What else can it do? Does that? Does it have a Dragon type move, right? I, don't, I feel like I can easy tank any special dragon type moves because I'm running a very, very bulky special defensive set, right? So what we're going to do first, we're going to drop the defense off Appleton. Not that it does a lot of damage to it, and it also might have Thick Fat too. I don't know what ability that it actually has. So here we go. We've got Giga Drain. Giga Drain is going to be highly resisted. Obviously, they don't have any other moves on Appleton apart from a grass type move. So they're going to be very hard pressed to do any damage to me. However, they do have the Leech Seed and Giga Drain, so they do have somewhat sort of sustain here. But if I can keep dropping the defense over and over again, I should be good to rock and roll here. I've used up my G-Max myself, but that's okay. I only need really Fire Lash and my Bulk here. If I have to go for a rest, I, I don't know. Like, I have to get the Apple Tun probably down to a lower amount of health. And it's also got Recover. Holy moly. So they're trying to storm me out big time here. So we've got Giga Drain, Recover, and Leech Seed. All really stalling moves here. I wonder what the other move is. I don't believe they've used it yet. So once again, I can keep going for Fire Lash here and drop the defense. That'll be my best thing. Also, I've got Leech Life for Sustain too. So I don't really need to go for uh, the rest there. So in the end, I decide to go for the Leech Life. Now they're going to go for G-Max uh, Apple Tun here, which is cool. I actually need to do a uh, G-Max uh, Apple Tun uh, sweep there. I think I've done... I've done Flapple G-Max, but I haven't done the Apple Tun G-Max there, even though they're pretty much exactly the same in design. That, that's one thing that really bothered me, they had the same design, but I guess that it is what it is, right? So go for the Leech Slide there, that does a huge amount of damage, and I'm going to get a huge amount of health recovery back, putting Center Scorch all the way back to full health, which is amazing there. Now we've got the uh, G-Max Sweetness coming from the Apple Tun uh, G-Max there. And that's really going to do no damage to me whatsoever. Now, they could have stalled me out there if I didn't have Fire Lash either. Like, Fire Lash was pretty much the key there. If I didn't run Fire Lash on this set, I felt like I kind of had to because it's quite a good move on it. Um, I definitely would have been walled completely by this last Apple Tun. So go for the final Leech Life here, and Apple Tun is going to get chopped. And that, my friends, is the very first battle. I hope you enjoy that one. And I think it was kind of cool that all three of my Pokemon were pretty much on like almost no health and I managed to uh, you know get around that at that stage thank you Chris for the battle a very interesting team right there for sure that uh that uh, explosion executor almost took me out okay let's get on to the second battle here this was against Justin I think this was on my stream I can't quite remember anyway we got a very interesting theme team here we've got a Dusclops lead with a very interesting name here too now, my opponent did have a theme team, and it was a very, very naughty theme team, too. Now, Dusclops, as you know, is a very bulky Pokemon. And it's going to frisk out my throat space, so they're going to know straight away I'm running a uh, special set of Scorch. Now, Bug Buzz is not very effective, but I want to get my throat sprout because Dusclops is extremely bulky, right? Let's say they weren't even... Let's, let's pretend they weren't even going to be running Everlight here. It's still very, very bulky, right? So getting that uh, plus one up in uh, special attack there. And Dusclops is going to be going for a Trick Room. So it's going to be going first under Trick Room. And it normally has like a lot of like, uh, you know, statusy sort of moves there. And it can be very great support Pokemon. But 
I know I've done a couple of sweeping ones under there, but uh, we'll see what they're set is, right? So go for Fire Blast. That's going to do the most damage, and it's got Bind. So I'm in a little bit of a, uh, a Bind at the moment here, right? I kind of wish I had my uh, my, my Flame Body uh, set here. That'd be great. So the uh, attack is going to miss there, which is very unfortunate. I would love to hit, like, a couple of Fire Blasts off against this Dust Cops and see exactly how bulky it is, right? I've still got seven to go, and it doesn't have a lot of presence about it, you know, so far. So now it's going to go for a Taunt. So it's got Trick Room Bind and taunt. I wonder what other moves got. Like, I'm thinking here, Toxic would do a really good uh, sort of uh, you know, move on this set, right? So I'm going to get binded by the, uh, the the Dust Clops. We're not going to say that name. We're not going to say that name. So Fire Blast did a lot of damage. I was really, really happy about that. So I can easily go for another Fire Blast again and you know should be able to take this out. The other move on this set is Astonished. I got to admit, I'll give, I'll give them their credit. That's a cool set. So what they're trying to do, right? They set the Trick Room up, they set to have the Bind up, right? Now you can't swap, and with Astonish, right, you get a little bit of damage and you try and flinch the opponent, plus Bind does damage at the end of the turn. Pretty much it's a very, very salty set there, right? I do like it. Very nice Dust Cops set right there. So I can pretty much finish this Dust Cops with anything here. Uh, Fire Blast will take it out, but Skull's also going to take it out. I don't really want to miss, like, a, uh, you know, a Fire Blast again, right? So here comes another Astonish on my Center Scorch, and I got flinched there. And I'm going to take further damage from the Bind there. The good thing about this is the Trick Room is going to actually run out here. And, I mean, the Taunt didn't really matter at all. I've got all attacking moves. So that's cool. So I can finish this off easily. And you know what? I'm going to finish this Dust Cops off with a Disrespect Bug Buzz for that naughty Astonish set. So bye-bye Dust Cops, but a very, very, uh, a very, very cool set right there. I'm not really sure why they nicknamed it that for. Not sure. If anything, it'll be a, it'll be a big Dust Cops. Next Pokemon is Hard Power. <laughs> what is this team? You might have guessed that it's a full Pingus team here. So I can go for a Solar Beam or a Skull here. I could go, for, you know, I could go for G Max Solar Beam. That'd do a heap of damage. It would almost take it out. But I think this probably has sturdy, right? So go for the skull. Doesn't quite take it down to a sturdy, but I do get a burn. So that was really, really nice right there. Now the Sudowoodo is going to have weakness policy, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume this is probably like a rock polish weakness policy set, and or it's gonna be like a, a rock head set, one of those ones, right? Since it used head smash, I'm more inclined to believe that it's gonna be a rock head set, right? So I'm gonna go down to that move there, does a heap of damage, and the burn is actually gonna take out Sudowoodo almost. So it is a rock head set, it's not sturdy. Next Pokemon we got here is Sizzly Pete. I'm hoping I can outspeed this maybe and take it out right here. I can go for any move here, really, and take it out. Um, I've got to go for Scorching Death. Hope I can outspeed. I end up outspeeding the Sudowoodoo and taking it out with a Scorching Sand. So bye-bye, Sudowoodoo. That's two Pokemon down. Now, all I've got left on this team, right, is Sizzlypede, and I've got a Center Scorch. Next Pokemon here is Weezing. I'm not sure why it's called that for, other than those uh, floating balls right there. And... I'm thinking what this can do to me. Like, can't use any fairy time moves. What's that going to do? It's going to do nothing to me. So, let's go for the uh, Scorch. It doesn't really matter. Scorching set. And then they're going to go Explosion. I know why they went Explosion for. When you look at that name, and it's got normal gem as well for extra power. And Sizzly Pete is going to get dropped in one shot there. So, their their balls use the Explosion. I get it, right? I get it. This is, the, this is like the... The, the most mature team ever. Now, the next Pokemon is Big Pain. I'm like, okay, is this going to be... Yeah, this, I know what this is going to be. Let's be real. They're going to use Dynamax on this for sure. Like, just for the memes, right? Now, my last Pokemon here is Center Scorch. This is the... Uh, this is the Fire Lash one with Leech Life. Now, Leech Life will do a lot of damage here. But I feel like I can get a Coil up here and boost my stats. So, let's do that. And then the Executor went for a Sword Dance. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is this is bad. So it's going to boost the attack by two stages. I'm going to go for the Coil here and get an attack and a defense boost. So currently it's got plus one over me, uh, over my defense, right? So I need to probably either have to go for Dynamax or go for Leech Life here. I either have to go for G-Max Centiferno, which is 130 base power, or go for Max Flutterby, right, which is also 130 base power. Now, go for Centiferno won't obviously be super effective, 
but it will put that uh, you know that fire on the field, which could be it yeah, could be helpful. So I decided to go for the uh, Flutterby anyway and Dynamax my uh, you know my centipede before it was too late. Like my big old centipede, you know this could have actually suited on this teeth. This could have been big big pain as well. I mean it, it is kind of big. Now we're gonna go for a G Max here, and I was expecting a, uh, a G Max Executor like right in its place, you know. And now Executor is gonna go for a Tract instead. I'm like what? So Big Pain has gone for a tract on my center scotch, and it's gonna fall in love. Oh no! Oh no! I'm, I'm immobilizing G Max here. I can't do anything at all. I want to go for my Max Flutterby and take this out in one shot. So go for Max Flutterby again. There. Here comes the Dragon Hammer. Does a little bit under half health, and I'm gonna be infatuated right here for two turns in a row. That's two G Max turns wasted now. Oh, you wouldn't read about it. So I can only go for Max Flutterby once more. And then I've got to go for Elite Slide Front. This is really, really bad. So selecting that move there, they're going to go for a Dragon Hammer here again. Um, it's only, it's not doing too much damage. And I'm going to be immobilized three turns in a row. What the heck? Now the Executor, right? is in range to take me out with the Dragon Hammer, probably judging on the damage it did before then. So they're going to swap their Executor right now, and they're going to go into Fast fast Pain, which is which is a Combusk. I'm like, what is this? So it's a full penis thing, basically. That, that, that's what it is, right? Only on Pippin' I Shall. So I guess that's the first time this Steam Team has ever been seen. So go for a Coil there. I was hoping I could get the Coil up, then go for Elite Slife on the Executor. And uh, it's going to go for a Focus Energy here. So that's, sorry, a, not a Focus Energy, a Bulk Up. So very similar to uh, what I did with the Coil, right? So go for the uh, Fire Lash there. It's going to drop the Defense of the Combuscan. And I feel like the next one should almost take it out there. Now, Combustion is going to have the Speed Burst there, hence the name. And now it's going to go for Reversal. Reversal is not going to be very effective there. It needs about a low amount of health. So... I guess they needed me to hit them a lot harder, right? So go for a Fire Lash, and I was hoping that it didn't land on one health because Reversal would be at full base power, and it actually took it out. So bye-bye, Combusken. Now, the next Pokemon, or is, is the next Pokemon that's going to come in is the Alola Executor. And, of course, they're going to Dynamax their Alola Executor with their name there. Goodness me. This is a very, very... No actually, this isn't the most naughtiest thing team out there. I have done one myself, but it's many, many, many years ago. Now, look at that big golden executor right there with those big coconuts and those big those big red leaves. Or well, they almost look like autumn leaves. So, executor is going to outspeed me there, unfortunately, and go for the max wormin. That is going to take out my center scorch. And that, my friends, is the second battle with the Sizzly Pete Evolution team versus the Pinkest team. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a laugh. I'll be back tomorrow with a, uh, a brand new tank team. Peace out, people.